take a moment, sit yourself down, find your center, put your feet on the ground, back against the chair. We're going to slowly grow roots out of the bottoms of our feet. We're going to grow them down through the floors, down through the basements below us, and grow our roots down to the soil far beneath our houses. And we're gonna push the roots down around the rocks, around the boulders, deep into the soil. And keep on going down until you can find that bedrock far below us. And once you find that bedrock, spread out, start searching around. Somewhere close by, you'll find a pool of water, cool, crisp waters from far below. We put our roots into that water. We start to drink of that water deeply. Bring these waters up and through our roots and into our bodies. Switch with each and every breath. Draw that water up through the roots. Bring them up into your feet. Feel these cool, crisp waters come up further into our legs and into our loins. With each and every breath, bring the waters further up, further up into our bellies, and into our chests. Feel the waters moving throughout our bodies and coming up further and further into our heads. Until at last, as we take our next breath, the waters come up and they come out of our heads and out of our hands and flow back into the earth. Feel these cool, crisp waters running throughout your body, filling you with the energies of chaos, the powers from below. Next, we'll turn our focus up and grow branches out of our heads and out of our hands to reach up through the ceilings and through the roofs. Reach up high into the sky until you can find that one star directly above your head. This is your star. You're going to pull down from this with fires from above. So with each and every breath, like you did with the waters, bring these fires down slowly into your branches. Feel these fires warm up your hands and in your hands as you bring them down further. Bring the fires further down into your chest, into your belly. Mingle these fires from above, the waters from below as you bring them down further into your loins into your legs. To the last, with your next breath, you bring the fires down all the way to your feet. Feel the waters from below and the fires from above, powers of chaos and order mixing throughout your body. Feel these powers of potential. Drink deeply of these powers of potential. Fill yourself with them. Bring yourself back to your center. Bring yourself to where you normally are or where you want to be. And then drink just a little bit more and hold on to that energy. And remember this feeling. But for now, we're gonna push the waters back into the earth, push the fires back into the sky. And know that if you ever need these energies, you can always reach down, you can always reach up. But for now, bring your roots in, Bring your branches back in. Take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes, be prepared for the right. As normal, our first offering is to the Earth Mother. You surround us, you support us, you shelter us, you feed us. Without you, we could not be here. It's because of all that you do for us, we make this offering. Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Spirit, accept our offerings. We're here to honor the gods, the land spirits, and the ancestors. But first, let us hallow our hallows. Mighty wells. In each and every one of our houses, you run deep into the earth. 
You went down into the lands of the ancestors. You are a road to the underworld. To you, we offer silver. We say sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. A mighty fire, you burn, transform. You send our offerings high into the sky to the lands of the shining ones. You are our road to the heavens. To you we offer this incense. We say sacred fire, burn within us. Sacred fire, burn within us. A mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth, to the lands of the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky, to the lands of the shining ones. We give you the water of the ancestors and the incense of the shining ones. We ask that you are our pathway between all the worlds. Sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow within us. In each and every one of our homes, by the might of the water, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the waters and the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the waters, the light of the fires, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be it. <sighs> Next, we call to the gatekeepers. All of you who have aided us in the past, you have opened the ways between the worlds watched over us as we've done our work, guided us and guarded us to where we needed to go. You have taken our messages far and wide. You bring back to us all that we need to hear. To all of you, we ask you to do all this once more. And to you, we make this offering. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with ours. In each and every one of our homes, let our wells open as gates to the underworld. Let our fires open as gates to the upper worlds. Let our trees be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to the spirits and open to our voices. In each and every one of our homes, let the gates be opened. Let the gates be opened. Now, call to the ancestors. To all of you who have come before us, our family that have passed on, we offer you all welcome. To all of you we have chosen as family, our friends, our inspiration, our mentors, we offer you welcome. To all those that are in this very earth, you were here long before us, we offer you welcome. Come. And join us at our fires. Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, Ancestors accept our offerings. Next, we call the land spirits. To all of you, of fur and feather, scale and skin, our lands, our animal kin, we offer you welcome. To all of you, of leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you, of the unseen, our house spirits, our land spirits, and all who enrich our lives but are unseen, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, accept, accept our, our offerings. offerings. And cause of the shining ones. Gods and gods of the older days, you who watch over each and every one of us as our patrons and our matrons, we offer you welcome. To all of you of this very land who are here before us and still inhabit this place, we offer you welcome. To all of you who watch over each and every one of us, known to us or unknown to us, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires, shining ones, accept our offerings. 
Shining, Shining ones. ones. Accept our offerings. Now, if we have offerings to make for our own, please feel free to do so. An offering to my gods for all that you help me do. All right, Kindred, watch over those in the path of this hurricane and any future hurricanes coming along. May the death toll and damage be minor. An offering to the land spirits for the same. There are no further offerings to be made. Mighty Kindred, we have given to you, we give to you one last time. This time, as we give to you, we ask that you receive blessings in return. Mighty Kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty Kindreds, accept our sacrifice. Mighty kindred all, we ask what blessings you would receive. The ancestors. The ancestors give the stars us, the thorn. The land spirits, what fucking do we do? Because Tila's tears wound, the rune of right action. The shining ones, what fucking do we do? Uh, they give us radio, the rune of journeys, physical journeys. I'm reading this as somewhat cautionary. I would be careful with your travels, but you know, you will know when it comes what the right thing to do is, and it's not going to be an easy right thing, but you should do it nonetheless. <laughs> While this may be a painful omen, I think it is a wise and good omen. Do we accept this omen? <laughs> we accept this omen. We do. That's the first time I pulled that rune since I broke it. Uh, mighty kindred, we have given to you, and you have given us this advice back. We ask that you fill our waters in each and every one of our homes, the omens you have just heard. Fill them with the thorns of Thorzaz from the land, from the ancestors. Fill them with the right action of Tiwas from the land spirits. Fill them with the journeys and travels of Radio from the Shining Ones. Fill each and every one of our cups with these omens. Behold the waters of life. Behold, Behold the waters, the waters of, of life. And now let's thank all of those who have aided us in our works. Shining ones. They have aided us once more. And you've given us this message about travel. For all that you've done for us and all that you do for us. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining, Shining ones, ones, we, we thank, thank you. you. To the land spirits for all they have done for us and all that you do for us and for this omen of, to remind her to do the right thing. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, Land spirits we, thank we thank you. And to the ancestors for all that you have done for us and all that you do for us. And for the reminder of the pains of doing the right thing. 
Ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, Ancestors we thank you. We thank you. <sighs> and gatekeepers, you have aided us once more. You have taken our messages far and wide. You have brought back to us what we needed to hear. For all that you've done for us, gatekeepers all, we thank you. Gatekeepers, gatekeepers all, we thank, thank you. you. Now, gatekeepers, once more, join your match with ours in each and every one of our homes. Let our wells become but water. Let our fires become but, but flames. And let our trees become but trees once more. Each and every one of our homes, let the gates be closed. Let the, let gate the gates be closed. And Earth Mother, Without you, we would not be here. You're first in our thoughts, you're last in our thoughts. For you, we give you our undying love. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Spirit, Earth Mother, we, thank, we you. thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace, for this rite has ended.